Right, so here's the former world title challenger, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Of course, you have shared the octagon with this man, and they don't pack much more power than this guy in this heavyweight division. No, some guys are blessed with a power that's just jarring. And Derek Lewis is one of those guys. He's so big, he's so strong, he's deceptively quick when he's in there, and he's unbelievably athletic. He will throw double kicks, and you think that he's going up with the left leg, but then the right leg lands, he throws the right hand from anywhere, and the moment he lands, he can put your lights out. And it does not matter the time of the round, yeah. Derek Lewis can finish at any moment in the fight. And he's a guy who's also been a real workhorse for the UFC, made his debut back in 2014. He did have a recent knee surgery. Let's see how he comes out of it here tonight. probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is 29, Lewis is 35. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your clothes, come off gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 tool approach. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Nice. And 
And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Very nice leg kick there by Troy. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he lands another leg kick there. I have an awful idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, Johnson, because there's no wind-up. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent's getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Oh, straight right. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. Lands with a right hand. Nice one through there. Lewis gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with this beautiful leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. See if he can finish. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big kick land. Strong hook land. How Three about those five minutes? minutes? All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Very impressive strike. You're changing up your strikes perfectly. Let's keep that going. Double to do with the All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw his full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Lewis is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, just misses with the kick. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, strong punch there by Choi. So 50 total strikes have landed for the Black Beast, Eric Lewis. Well, not the most efficient effort we have seen, landing with 29% accuracy against the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big kick land. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cup. Right on the cup. Oh! He's a Look at how he turns his hip.
kick into that leg kick. Lewis gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Close to the body there. from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice defense there, huge block. Lewis's slower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Good stick. Liver kick. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> and he is back up to his feet. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure to